So a lot of you guys were interested in seeing me shop in the hood. Pretty much, I'm a girl from the South Bronx, so this is where I started shopping. This is where I discovered fashion. A lot of the things that I like right now um, as an adult are an influence from where I grew up, from my culture, from my background, from, you know, the hood. Pretty often you'll see me rock some gold hoops. A Bronx girl got to represent every day. Um, some Tims, some, you know, Things that I guess is the anatomy of a Bronx girl. And ever since I discovered online shopping, ASOS, uh, Forever 21, and Simply B, Fashion to Figure, I've kind of abandoned the locations that I would shop when I was younger. And then in a video, I asked you guys if you guys were interested in seeing me shop in the hood for plus size clothes, and a lot of you guys were very interested, so I decided to do it. This time I decided to go all the way to Dr. J's. They have a specific section or a specific store just for ladies. They have two locations, one across from each other. One is for men, and that one is actually huge. It has a lot more sneakers on the first floor. Um, and then the second floor has some jeans, pants, and stuff like that. I've shopped there before, but I decided to go to the one for a woman's this time, and this is what I found. Here we are. We're going to go into one of my favorite spots in here, and this one is called Dr. J's. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record when I'm inside because the music is blasting. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But um, if anything, I'll just get some stuff and we'll try it out on home. Let's go try it. blast the music in here I found the plus size apartment which is pretty much from that point forward back um, let's go find some things that I like to try on so honestly the main reason why I asked you guys if you guys were interested in seeing this is because I found some cute little jackets here um, like the Steve Madden one it's like teddy bear coat that is actually not too expensive I think it retails for $69.99 so that's $70 I don't know why I thought it was cheaper um, but let me try it on to see if it fits. You guys ready? actually saw this like corduroy set I really doubt it was going to fit because it's like junior sizes but I'm gonna pick it up to see if it's actually going to fit um, and then if you guys remember from my bra shopping video the yellow sweater this is where I got it from. so we have like a leopard set it has like a jacket and some jeans that go with it the one I really like is this corduroy set right here in these two colors so I ended up picking up the 3x but 3x is literally like a 1x like this is probably a 14 16 there's no way it's gonna fit my fat ass so let's move on to something to something else so this is a yellow sweater I had on that day I had on the 3x and it was a little bit oversized which I like so I can even size down to a 2x but I also do like the other colors oh wait it's not the same thing no, it's not the same thing. I feel like Dr. Treat's gonna turn into my place to come get like oversized sweaters because these are really cute actually. I like the white one and the black one right here with the uh, very little sleeves. They also have some really fun bags. Not something I would buy, but still really fun. This one's cute, got kale. Como la tienda es tan chiquitita, está todo tan apretado. Is all tight, close to each other. So I'm literally finding myself like squeezing in between racks to go through and try on stuff. So I'm um, not even trying it on. I'm just trying to pull it off the rack. They also have some really cool coats, you guys. I think I'm gonna try one or two. I don't really need any more coats to be honest, but it's worth trying. Look at this bodysuit right here. This is interesting. It's actually a jumpsuit. So. I've seen dress versions of this, but I've never seen a jumpsuit. That's interesting. What do you guys think? Is this a yes or a no? So I really like this pink coat right here, so I got it in the 3X to try it on. It's a Steve Madden, um, but because the Steve Madden and the white one that I tried on over there was 
baggy enough, I feel like this might feel comfortable. So I'm gonna try this on as well. Shopping in the hood definitely feels like you're in an adventure because you can see everything in display. You kind of have to go into the crooks and crannies of the store and try and see what's hanging on those racks there and try to find something that you like. So now I'm looking at some sweats, but I'm looking for a casual stuff for like when I go to the airport. I like to travel in sweats, so hopefully I find something cute. I also have a bunch of jeans for you guys, but I think the biggest size that I carry here is the 16. And the jeans are really cheap actually, they're like $19.99. Um, but I don't know if, I, if I'm, if I'm going to find something in my sets. I'm going to look around real quick. Actually, they have jeans here all the way up to a 26, 28, which is wild. It's probably junior sizing, so it means that's going to be smaller. So I'm going to pick up this pair in a 22 and try it on. I'm in the dressing room area and like there's no mirrors on the inside but there is a mirror on the outside but also like it's only like half a door on top and half a door on the bottom so people can literally see my head and my feet as I'm trying things on. They only let me bring two things at a time so I'm gonna try on the first two sweaters that I found and we're going on from that. I didn't take much. I only got like four sweaters, a uh, pair of jeans, and the coat. Like a breakdown, like there is no privacy you have for you to have a breakdown in here. Just trusting everyone will see you have a breakdown. <laughs> All right, this is the first sweater right here. I didn't think it should be, but it's just a simple gray sweater. But instead of doing like boring sweater, it has like a cute little um, pink and white. Like, I don't even know the material, like what material is this, but let's try it on. Mm -hmm. So, to see myself, I have to literally get out of the dressing room and go to the door. And this is how I can see. And it's really short, so that's great. Um, this is actually really cute, you guys. I feel like I can just tuck this in into some jeans. And I love that the sleeves are like fun instead of being like a boring gray sweater. I hope you guys can hear me, but this sweater is $24.99. And um, I just ripped it by mistake. Whoops. Uh, this sweater is $24.99, and I actually really, really like this. It's so pretty. I think it's like a simple, good sweater, but I love a fun sleeve, and that is adorable. And it's actually not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. $25 for this sweater is still a bit much. I thought it was going to be much cheaper. So I just tried these jeans. These are $17. This is a size 22 um, And they actually feel really really good and comfortable like I'm shocked at how good this fits It's a little bit long. I would have to get that tailored, but aside from that. It's like a really good pair They also have a lot of stretch It's a good pair I actually think I might take these jeans or I might go look at more jeans um, in another wash because these actually fit really comfortable. They're not as high waisted as I usually prefer, but they're not like uncomfortable, they're not pushing, they're not tight. Like, I'm shook at how good these jeans fit. Okay, so I'm actually really in love with this coat right here. This is not what I expected. This is $80, um, but I can see myself paying every cent for this because it fits so comfortably. Um, even without the hoodie, I really like the way that looks there. Oh my god, how fly. Uh, uh, so I have it in green and in black. This is literally my new favorite coat. I've also been looking for some cute scarves for some coats that I have. Um, and then they have these, sorry, they have these like little eight scarves that you would just like tie around. Um, oh, and they also have a lot of cute berets. I'm for a really cute one that would go with my coat because I have the burgundy one from ASOS, but 
It kind of goes open and I need a scarf. So I need something that goes with it. I can do like a cream or nude because it will um, get stained with my makeup. So then I found a cute little one in black because I feel like it would go better with everything. Even though this might get a little bit more stained with my makeup because I'm so pale. Um, it's $14.99. Is this more expensive? than I don't know. I feel like in my brain it should be cheaper, but I don't know. So I found this green hat and it goes really well with my coat and my shoes today. This is coming with me for sure, for sure. So I technically ended up buying everything I tried on because I really, really liked everything. Now the prices weren't as cheap as I thought they were going to be because I was shopping in the hood. Um, it um, was actually kind of pricey. So that was pretty much everything I got today, you guys. And I also wanted to share things that I've been getting from them here and there. The last time I went, I got a sweater, a bag, and some sneakers. And I didn't show you guys, unless you guys were watching my Instagram, which if you did, then you saw what I got. If not, here it is. The first thing that I got was this yellow sweater, which is one of my favorites right now. It's a DV neat DV knee deep V neck sweater which is really comfortable it's thick and cozy it just makes you want to like wrap up with a blanket some leggings hot chocolate and watch Christmas movies it's really really cute and yellow turns out to be really good on my skin so can't recall the price of this but I'm pretty sure it was about $16.99 if I'm not mistaken I really don't know if Dr. Jace has a website that I can link everything to you guys, but if they do, I definitely will be doing that. The other thing I got from them was this really cool bag. This one right here, it's actually super, super cute. Um, it's just a plain boxy bag. It has um, the little handheld part and then it has a long part, which you can adjust if you want it to be shorter or longer because I am bigger and I put it across my body. I always make it at the longer and it doesn't really go that low kind of just goes around there which is fine um and, I, and then i put my coats over it so i still have like my bag is protected from getting snatched while shopping in the hood <laughs> um and yeah it's really cute it's very spacious i kind of put in my camera when i'm vlogging um what do i have in here i have some receipts from when i was vlogging but just put in my camera my wallet and a lipstick my keys and i'm good to go i really enjoy this bag i think it's really really cute i know a lot of you guys are going to want this one so if i can find it online i will link it the last thing that i got the other day were these fila sneakers let me show you guys oh oh wait there's a bit all right so this one isn't exactly for me i already got it but mine is dirty and since i bought this today for my little brother because he saw them and he really wanted them as well um, I got it for him as well, and this is in his size, so that's why it's so much bigger. But it's really, really cool. If you guys have seen the Fila shoes everywhere, a lot of people, a lot of the bloggers are wearing them. And I just wanted something for my bad ankle, which is the left one, as I guys, as I guys told you in the boot shopping video. I broke my ankle about four years ago, and it's permanently swollen now. It's not that bad. It doesn't really hurt as much. Um, but that's just what happens when you have a bad injury. Um... Yeah, and it, this feels like an orthopedic shoe, so I can walk with this for days if I wanted to, and I can stand with this for hours, um, and it's really comfortable. I like that instead of being all white, I got the one with the little rubber sole. Um, it's really good. I feel like when it gets snowy and I want to wear sneakers, like this is going to help me like not slide off and die. So these are them. I got them for $50, and... Yeah, I actually really, really like these. I wear them all the time. I want to wear this again with my leopard ASOS dress, this hat, and... Oh, oh, girl, don't even try me. That was pretty much everything, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little version of Shopping in the Hood with me. Um, this was really fun. There's other stores I can go and try on for you guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments section below so that I can go to another store. Um, which, this one is all plus size. So it's going to be a specific plus size shop. This one only had one plus size section. Um, so if you did like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a lovely comment, tag your mom. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!